you know what this video is about you read the title this is kind of like a little life update i just want to catch you guys up to speed because i have gotten quite a few questions since i put out that video about me quitting my job so i'm just here to tell you guys what it's been like how things are going what i've done how it's been what's next my financial state do i have any regrets and everything in between i have a full detailed video telling you guys about my job and what i did so if you missed it just go catch up but to recap i worked as a manager at a retail store and i quit in april and now it's june 2024 it's been over two months and it's one of the best decisions i ever made yes it did serve when it needed to i learned a lot from it for the short time that i was there and i think it taught me everything that i needed to learn in that time period i was doing so well at it but I was getting so burnt out. It just wasn't serving me anymore and I wasn't happy going in and I was just at a place where I thought it was time to quit and I did quit. I am quite fortunate that I was able to make that decision because I know that not everybody is privileged to just, you know, wake up one morning and go quit their job. But I did quit my job without having another one lined up. I have been doing YouTube for some time and yes, I do get paid from Google AdSense but it is not sustainable income. And I just took a chance on myself and I can say in the time being that I have no regrets about it and two months later, I still have no single regret about this. I wake up day to day doing what I love to do. I feel so blessed. I feel so lucky. I am so happy and I am so fortunate to say that and this is all because of you being here and thank you for that. So what have I been up to and what has this past month been like for me? Well, when I posted that video, I said I wanted to go all into my social media platforms. I wanted to go full time into doing YouTube and that is literally what I have been doing. That is what I have done. So I have been trying to grow my Instagram and I have been posting consistently. I can't say it's been an easy journey, but guys, yesterday I took out time, I'm preparing for this video. I took out time to check my numbers as at when I decided to go, you know, post more and be more consistent and when i look back on the numbers as at the time i quit i think i was at around 5,000 followers as at now we are at 7,000 and something followers i think about 40 or 30 something i cannot not really remember i have been on that platform for quite a while and it's been a struggle growing that platform i'm not going to buy like instagram is the ghetto but one thing i've noticed is the more you put in the work especially if you're producing content that people actually do like because you can be posting on there and posting a lot of content and you would not even see any returns i was like that for some time but then i am still figuring out the algorithm i am still learning but i think i'm getting the hang of it some days you are getting more followers some days you are losing some days you are getting followers but you are not seeing the numbers because why am i getting a notification that i have a new follower but my numbers still remain the same on some days you're looking at the people that you're following and you know you've not followed anyone recently but like your numbers are more it's just a whole different ball game on instagram next youtube i have been working really hard on this platform and yes i am still trying to figure out what my audience i think i i have an idea what my audience like to see and i am working really hard to give them what they want at the same time also create content that i actually really like recently i have changed a few things i am putting in more work into how i film and edit my videos i have actually seen a little bit more growth in my subscribers and of course my views not in thousands like how it is on instagram i think i've gotten over 150 new subscribers since i quit it doesn't look like much because i know on this platform like people grow in thousands in a day people grow 10,000 in a short time period but i tell myself to imagine 150 people in your room like you guys just do it close your eyes think about 150 people sitting down in a hall and you standing on the podium and talking to them that is quite a lot i am not even going to lie like if that was happening in real life of course it's quite easy for me because all i have to do is sit in front of the camera and talk to you but if i were to be standing in a room filled with 150 people i am going to be scared a bit it is going to shake me yes because that's a lot of people that's a lot of eyes on you and that's just it sometimes i post a video and i'm getting over 500 800 views and i'm just like wow that's a lot of people and i am so thankful to those of you who have joined recently in fact those of you who have also been here like since from day one because i i still see comments from people that have been following me for a very very long time and i'm so thankful to each and every single one of you thank you so much for always liking my videos thank you for always supporting me thank you for leaving your very very kind comments 
comments thank you for watching me and supporting me no matter what like some people would watch any video i put up i truly truly appreciate you guys and i know i won't be here without you tiktok i tried to get into tiktok i am still figuring it out i have been trying to figure it out for more than a year maybe two years now and i still have not figured it out they say it's fast to go on there and you know you get a lot of followers and whatever whatnot well maybe it's because i don't post often on there that's probably the reason i think in short, that is the reason why i have not grown on that platform i am very certain those who follow me there are people i know like my friends and people that maybe follow me on instagram i know i really do need to diversify on my platforms and yes i have been working on that but for me i would say it is youtube instagram and then tiktok i can't even say tiktok is on but let me just add tiktok so basically i have been putting in so much work on these two platforms and overall i get to do social media every day and i get to meet and connect with amazing people and brands that is something i truly do not take for granted of course with anything you do there are pros and there are cons for example i love the filming i love the editing i love how i'm able to explore new things and play with my creativity try new brands test new products connect with new people some days i love my editing on some days i do not on some days i'm just trying to figure out if i want to vlog or maybe i want to do a sit down video and of course i love the fact that i have like i own my time and i have my own schedule but of course there are cons as well and i am not in any way complaining but these are just the realities and these are just things that come with the job being a content creator you actually never stop working of course work is fun and i love it but sometimes you just don't know when to stop even if you do stop physically let's say you put down the camera you close those notes guys your mind is still working over time how do i make this come alive how do i do this you are thinking of ideas you are wondering if this time you're using to rest this time you should be putting it into something like creating content every single moment you're thinking oh should i pull out my camera sometimes you get so carried away you're not even in the present another thing is the stress of wondering if your content is good whenever you're thinking of ideas you're wondering if this is going to please the algorithm you're wondering if this video is going to do well on your channel you are wondering if your audience are going to like the video there's a lot of pressure and there's a lot of emotions that this comes with and it is such a struggle because sometimes you cannot even escape the comparison that comes with it on some days you experience the highs on some days you experience the lows sometimes you feel like you're not even doing enough and i know some people struggle with this not just content creators but it's like you always have this feeling like you need to do something you need to do more with content creation you don't have anyone telling you what to do you don't have anyone telling you where you need to be where to go you literally have to figure it out by yourself and i have been doing this a little bit over two years more than two years and i still struggle i have weeks where i am doing great i am on my grind i am filming i am editing and i am just being creative and then some days i feel like i don't know what's going on i have no idea what i'm doing another thing is the change in things like you always have to be alert because things are constantly changing new trends are coming up you always have to keep up with what's going on otherwise you're just gonna fall off but overall i do think that this industry is amazing and i am absolutely i am okay with this life that i chose for myself i know that this is where i am meant to be i know that this is what i am supposed to be doing i have great things to share and i am so happy with a lot of the feedback that i get from you guys and i want to keep doing this and i just want to keep growing from here over the last couple of months i would say i have experienced a lot of growth I have experienced changes mentally, physically, financially, and I only just wanted to keep getting better. But of course, on some days, I do wonder if I can do this. I'm not one who doubts myself a lot, but <laughs> sometimes the thought just crossed my mind, like, can you actually do this? Can you put in the work to get to where you want to be? Can you get to where you see yourself getting to? Even though I struggle with my mental health on some days, guys, I can tell you confidently that I am in a much better place and much better space than I was when I was working in 9 to 5. My mindset is much better and I am happy that I am able to improve my mental health. I have so much time now that I'm able to put into myself, my work and my relationships. <sighs> Let's talk about finances because I know that a lot of you are very curious to how I am able to live and survive now that I do not have a stable income coming in monthly. 
let me say this here and i think i actually needed to experience this so that i could understand it but the truth is your nine to five is probably not going to make you rich probably not going to give you that you know that much money where you feel like you're at a place where you can do whatever you want to do without a care in the world and someone actually explained this to me because we we're having a conversation about this and she was like your salary is what they give you to keep coming to work i think i mentioned it in maybe one or two videos back then when i was still working i talked about the fact that when i was working in nine to five it was like <laughs> it was i don't know like there was no improvement in my financial how do i put it like there was no improvement in my finances at all it was like i was stagnant and even kind of broke broke harder than how i was when i was just doing my own thing i'm not saying this to brag but i am currently making way more money through social media than i was making when i was working in nine to five and i am so grateful to god because this was a huge risk <laughs> this was a very very big risk that was unplanned and i just knew that god was going to hold me up through it all and take care of me and that is literally how it's been i have gotten so many opportunities that i couldn't even dream of a few months ago in a short time period and i'm just like why did i not do this sooner and of course i am not where i want to be i do need to grow more in order to make more money because there are a lot of things that i want to do that i am not able to do right now for instance i want to get a new camera i'm definitely working on that i feel like i want to move I have been here for over two years and even though i love this place so much i feel like i am gradually outgrowing it i just feel like there will be so much more interesting content if it's not just me and this four walls i also want to travel more i know that you guys love it when i do it but i also want to do this for me i i, I am someone who likes to be in a different space be experience something new you know see different places and currently i'm not able to do that because of my financial state i also want to do things for my parents and my family and my loved ones and people that you know are close to me that have touched me in some way positively these are currently my big financial goals that i want to hit and these are quite expensive goals and i am not able to commit to them right now but i do know that i am going to achieve all of these things financially i do have more work to do of course i am doing way better than i was doing years ago even like a few months ago but i know that i can do better and i know that more is coming a lot of people don't know but there are several income streams when it comes to doing social media there is google adsense there are brand deals and sponsorships there's membership there's merch there's affiliate marketing and some of the things i personally have not even touched on it's currently because of my numbers but i know it's going to happen because i am ready to put in the work and i am ready to chase after my goals and i am going to work hard to achieve all of these big dreams that i have because guys i have very very big dreams and i am somebody that is motivated to get there so that is just what i'm going to do if you're in a situation where you feel like you need to change your life whether it's like me you want to quit your job and chase after your dreams or you want to take a leap and try something you've always wanted to do maybe it's starting a new business maybe it's trying a new hobby or maybe it's going somewhere new and you know changing your lifestyle whatever it means to you i really encourage you to go for it if you have the means to again i said if you have the means to because i know that not everyone can up and leave like i did but i can tell you that you should have faith in god take that risk and work towards it there is no time like the present and time waits for nobody i don't want you to look back on life and reflect and wonder what life would have been you know five years 10 years 20 years from now you wonder what life would have been if you are taking that step so this is your sign yes this right now this moment this is your sign i don't care if you're young or old if you're wasting your time doing something that you're not happy with or putting up with something or someone that's not serving you in any way i urge you and i encourage you to change what you can and give yourself the chance to see what can be of course change is scary and sometimes good things do take time but i am rooting for you and i do want the best for both of us and i trust that with god everything would be fine i want you to comment video ideas that you'd want to see on this channel like this video and subscribe if you've not thank you so much for watching and i'm going to see you guys in my next one